Housing in Hawaii built as affordable doesn't always stay that way. KITV 4's Paul Drew shows us some of the efforts to build and keep more affordable housing. Construction cranes dot the skyline, and some of these new buildings will make a dent in Hawaii's affordable housing need, helped in part by $300 million to the Hawaii Housing Finance Development Corporation. And these funds act as gap financing in the form of low-interest, long-term loans. Last year, they awarded funding to 15 projects, which will add a total of 2,100 more affordable housing units. And there's interest in building even more by developers. We're at about $356 million. Um, for rental housing revolving funds. So the demand is there, the projects are out there. Uh, what we faced right now is an issue of private activity bonds. There's a ceiling on that. But while the state has millions to spend, little of that money is used to buy back affordable units from owners. If we're not able to buy them back, the owner is, is able to sell whatever price they can get. Over the past five years, the state has only bought back five to six units, while at the same time, waived four times the amount of buybacks. That allows owners to sell their units sooner than the required two, five, or 10 years. They would still have to pay the difference in the selling price for the unit and what they bought it for, so the state would get that equity money, but it would lose an affordable unit. And there are many more that will soon lose restrictions that make sure units are owner occupied or remain affordable. We have about 500 units that still remain uh, in their regulated terms. Some units, current units, the regulated term will be expiring in 2023, some of them and others will be expiring in 2024. Since the state isn't buying back those units, Nakamoto would like nonprofit agencies to step in. To bring in another buyback agent besides HHFDC, Hawaii Housing Finance Development Corporation, like a nonprofit, to help us to buy back uh, reserve housing units, thereby extending the affordability of the reserve housing unit for a little while longer. Paul Drews, KITV4 Island News.